Alright people, welcome back. More of and why. So today is Tuesday, but we're not using Labyrinth Ebell. I still want to go ahead and try to supervise Ebell because of course Norden. So let's see if uh, Norden can help out with the plays. Of course it would be much better if the Lava Chain was unbanned because I can go Norden summon something go in the Lava Chain and get more setup and that would be great. But of course I cannot because the Lava Chain is banned. But that's okay, that's okay. Because Norden can still help me pull off a play that's actually pretty beneficial and uh, pretty much I can turn an Instafusion into another Revival card because I have this interesting card and it's called the Gusta Emerald so pretty much I go Norden, summon, summon level 4, go into Emerald and of course one of the great things that makes Norden awesome is the fact that it does not cost me my normal summon I can use my normal summon to game Doom Shaman's Effect, Doom Shaman, summon Tinker or Yubel and it's essentially another a Revival card so it's actually not bad, not bad at all so I'm trying to figure out what I want to do here. I definitely want to go Summoner Monk. I'm going to go Effect, but I'm trying to wonder what I should pitch. I pitch the Swinger set. I pitch the... Hmm, the Rota. I think I might need a little bit more setup. I'm definitely going to summon, you know... If I had the Volvo Chain, that'd be, you no, know, no doubt, but... Hmm. Because it's going to take me a little bit longer to set up both of them. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and send the Swing. Because I might go ahead and use the rudder to grab back an uh, Armageddon Knight. Or to go grab an Armageddon Knight. Because I can't get all three of them. And that's the problem with this deck. Is that I need to send three. You know, two? Two is understandable. Just like how Labradite developed. It's much better because I really only need to do is send Labradite and... Uh, and uh, Maui. And Yubel when I get a chance to it. Right now I need to send both Doom Shaman and uh, Tinker. Before I can even get started with my Synchro plays. So... I guess it's, they're both in the same boat, but it's just like, mm, you know. And I mean, I guess I can just go ahead and go into Emerald and summon. And hopefully nothing happens to Doom Shaman. Because I like to do this play right here. Because you pretty much have to handle both monsters. And if you don't handle both monsters, then I'll get one or the other, you know. Gemini. Gemini, I know you're clicking Doom Shaman like, oh, you can't summon him. Like, yes, I can. He is a normal monster in the graveyard. So go ahead and grab that Armageddon Knight and then just the end. You know, it sucks that I couldn't set all three of the cards up, but two's not bad. Like I said, if I had a wobble chain, that would have been a note. Done deal. I already have you, Bell. Just go summon, pitch, send Doom Shaman. Go into the wall chain, detach, then tinker. All three of them have been engraved, but. <sighs> so the struggle's just a little bit more real. <laughs> so, like I said, if he doesn't kill both of them. I just I just don't like leaving Doom. I don't just don't like leaving Doom Shaman on the field like that. You know, it doesn't make me feel comfortable when I do that. Alright, so you're just gonna summon the alias and that gets attack over emerald. Oh no, you just got a mash change right now. You know, you could have attacked twice. You could have attacked, mash change, and then attacked again, but. Alright, I guess. You could have literally handled both of them, because you could have went attack or attack 100, and then attack again, but it's, it's fine, I guess. You want to use your effect or no? Okay, so you're 35, so I take 17. Now you're down to 3,000. See, I'm just a little bit too slow. Just a little bit too slow. Because right now, I definitely just want to go ahead and tear it up. So I guess I'm going to use my normal summon for effect. Effect. Go ahead and summon you bell and go for tear. Yep. Saw that coming. So that's coming from a mile away. So it sucks that I've already used my normal summon, so he's definitely just going to go ahead and try to kill. So once per turn, you can special summon one. So I activated the effect. So even if I get rid of the Fiendish Chain, he can still go ahead and get me. I might just go ahead and Exiton. Let's go Norden, Norden summon, Exiton, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah. Yep, let's just go ahead and do that. 
That Norden is so good. Usually you just stop that normal summon and you're good, but freaking Norden is just like, hey, I'm fucking OP as fuck. Yeah, let's just go, fuck it, let's just go for the time. Go ahead and Phoenix train me, like, I'll just park up. I'll kill my Doom Shaman, I can always summon him back later. So get rid of your Koga, get rid of that, get rid of that. Go ahead. Alright, we both have three, so I can't activate Ekaton unless you go plus somehow. See how good Norton is? Just being able to get that additional summon? I'm saying you can't compare Wolf Bark and Altair to Norton. Not at all. Not at all. He doesn't even have to be summon proper. He just went special summon. That's fine. I can take it slow. So if I bait out your back rare right now, then you're just going to get it with my swing and super glides. We'll go ahead and just drop Tinker, and now we're all ready to go. We got the swing, got the supervise, we got, we got the classic plays right now. So I'll go ahead and just Pokey for 14 and Pokey for 19. Go ahead. I'm still up. We draw, we'll be even. So you still don't have to worry about Exiton. Oh fuck it, if you don't want to do anything, <laughs> I'll be happy to oblige and just poke you to death. So, I've always wanted an additional revival card, i.e. being, uh, you know, Norton with it. So, since I have this extra revival card to spell, I'm actually trying to play the Royal Decree like I've always wanted to play. It's just, it'd been much better if I had that fucking Lavalo chain. <laughs> I miss you so much, Lol Chain. It just makes this deck like a lot better. But I get it. He's an enabler, enabler for my tier sixty nine garbage ass Bell deck. Shame on me. Or even with resources, you can go, you can do your plays and not have to worry about Exiton. Actually, I'm the one that's in a bind right now because you can summon something and kill my Exiton, and then have a back row back you up. You could possibly have this duel. Right now, I have Swing and Supervices, and that's a pretty good play. I just didn't really feel like overextending. Actually, I should have overextended. Yeah, should have overextended. Should have went swinging and summoned Doom Shaman and done all those plays this turn. Tried to wrap this duel up. With five cards, he could possibly come back. And a nice Dank Wall or something like right now, plus back row, can easily beat me. Like, I don't get any of my Royal Decrees. Like, one Royal Decree would be great. <laughs> Alright. So it's not really I would say you should crash with my Exiton. It wouldn't be wise to go ahead and kill my again at night. I mean you were even. I'm assuming you activated that double summon just to be lower on resources, but hope it is worth it. I'm not gonna overextend or nothing. There's no reason to. Just gonna go ahead and attack with Armageddon Knight. You wanna go ahead and play a revival card or something? Go ahead. Wow. That. Wow. What the fuck is your back row? All right. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna summon something. Not gonna get torrential or anything. You wanna play one of your cards to block my attack? That's fine. I'll go ahead and summon and go into like a Castell or something. Spin you back. Make you burn more. More back row. Burn it all. Burn it all. Because I'll be ready to go with that Doom Shaman play. That wasn't terrible, it's just, as I said, it took me a turn longer, and I'd say that's the biggest problem with this deck right now. It takes me a turn longer than usual to go ahead and get set up, because I'm missing that additional scent with the low level chain. Let's go ahead and get another duel. Just test, testing, just testing. I said that Norton putting that work. Alright, the scent's not bad. Playing out, playing the must, uh, the mouth starts, just to deck then, of course. Uh, because I drew Yubel and Tinker, and Doom Chummy can summon them out of my hand, we're totally good. You just get that Dark Refer, and we're already pr pretty much set up, because Number Generator decided to be bad, but fine to us. 
It was so good that Doom Shaman can go ahead and summon from the hand, too. If Doom Shaman can summon from the hand, then we would have been a, a really bad predicament. Because I couldn't summon you Bell and Tinker. So that would be really bad. I'm going to play off start. Draw a card. Tear, of course. Number generator is still just... Ugh. Go ahead. It's like I already drew freaking first form and Tinker, so let me draw Tear too. two. Makes me not even want to play off start because I know I'm just going to draw until I can form a U Bell. Pot. Alright. Do that Insta Fusion. That Shadal Fusion. Ugh. Alright, well now since I know I'm going against Shadals. You're going to get that hand destruction. Get that hand destruction. That'd be great. Okay. I was wondering if he did hand destruction instead of Tinker. I get attack now. Because this when this card you control is sent to the graveyard. So. I'm going to go ahead and grab that Insta Fusion. Get it. Get it. Norden ready. I'm assuming he's probably just gonna go ahead and summon like Squamara or Dragon and tackle over my Dark Rafter and make him push me to play. No, he's just gonna take it slow. I thought he was gonna push me to play. Right. I'll go ahead and use my effect again. Pitch Tear. Go ahead and send Ultimate. I don't want none of this in my hand. I guess I'll go ahead and play Upstart again. Uh, definitely getting much more of a challenge this time. I'm again tonight. All right. I might exiton you. No, I don't want to exiton. I really don't want to exiton. That'd be terrible. If I exiton, then <sighs> that'd be bad. Because <laughs> I would be leaving the XC monster, and I clearly know I'm going against Shadals. Even though I don't want to go against Shadals, I'm clearly going up against Shadals. Just gonna take the duel slow. Because I'll go ahead and start getting rid of these other cards that I don't want to draw anymore. I want to draw into more spell cards. I'm also not sure how much use I'm going to get out of, uh... Out of, uh... Rota Kree. Mm-hmm. Ugh, he's doing against your dolls. God, this sucks. Uh, I'm definitely not exceeding. You definitely know that. I ain't touching the fucking extra deck right now. Last thing I want to do is, is more construct. And so I would not be surprised if he just goes Shadal Fusion and sends two darks and summons, uh, what's his name? Winda. That'd be bad too. If he pretty much does that, then that's pretty much game for me too. Yeah, he's got this. He's got this. I'm dueling against tier 1.5 with fucking tier 69. Mm -mm. Bad. <laughs> Especially when I love to go into the extra deck so much. I love the synchro summoning into this deck and Norden and everything. My extra deck's kind of looking like shit alls. Fusion, synchro, exceeds, all of that, but... Because he has summoned Winda, I'll go swing, summon Doom Shaman. There's my one known. So I guess Doom Shaman can attack over Winda, and then I can get my attack. So it's not terrible, but it's just not optimal. And of course, he'll get his fusion back, and then what? <laughs> you know, then what? Wow, you're actually still going on the defensive. I really thought you were going to stay on the offensive. Like, that would be best. Okay, good. A Jiren Stiffusion. Good. Good, 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 good. That's actually really great. That's exactly what I need. And you know what? Because you're going on the defensive, I'm going to push. But actually, you know what? Going into Beals would actually be just beautiful. Beals, like, crushes him. No, because I'm worried about Dragon. I'm worried about Dragon. Dragon's, like, one of the best cards to get out of this situation. Hmm. Trying to think. That has zero defense, of course, and it bounces my monster. Squad of Destroys. Attack, attack. Even if it's Falco. Kill you, you summon back you, attack you, and you already have one fusion is enough, scary enough, so. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna normal summon. I'm just gonna go ahead and attack your monster. No matter what it is, whether it's Dragon, Skomata, or whatever, okay. I'll be fine. I'm seriously wondering why you're taking the duel so fucking slow. Said bills would be great. I just got the only card I had to worry about would be a dragon. No, oh, no, no, I'm okay. Just 
to go ahead and see the top card when he kills it. I, took, I had to make cuts, so I cut out Guayo, which should actually not be terrible against him. Because I could go Guayo right now, but I had to cut out Guayo. <gasps> oh. Oh, should also infinity. Photons, too. Photon, Shadal, Galaxy, deck of weirdness. Like, okay. Probably could have done more with the hat tricker than just set it, but alright. This card's special. Soldier. Search. Soldier's so good. Soldier actually made galaxies a lot better. Yep. Mm -hmm. So who are you going to go into? Felgrand or maybe one of your uh, Galaxy Eyes cards? Insta-Fusion has always been a dumb card, but with Dor Norton it's even dumber. Alright. Prime. Oh, there's the Insta-Fusion. I, I knew it. I knew it. I was like, watch him have Insta-Fusion too. Fuck the shit -alls. You don't even need the shit -alls. We already know that this fucking deck is fine. Yep. Yep, Infinity. Great. I got just Infinity and Prime. Great. Look how quickly that duel turned around. God, I hate Infinity. You are a piece of shit. Makes me not even want to duel sometimes. I hate, I hate fucking monsters like that. They're disgusting. So of course I can use your effect and gain an ass ton amount of attack. Or you're not, I'm not even sure. How am I gonna deal with infinity? How the fuck am I gonna deal with infinity? No, I want fucking tomato. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's pretty much useless. I can kind of handle them. Come down to the back row. I activate Instafusion and do the Norden play, but then he'll, of course, negate that. He definitely should. Even if I push the point of Exiton, and then I negate that. Then I'll go swing, summon Doom Shaman, Doom Shaman, summon you Bell, and go for Terror. So. Get a thousand? If you want to go ahead and use your fucking Instafusion to make Infinity, then I'll just fucking summon Norton. But we all know fucking Instafusion's a bu busted card. It was busted before Norton, and it's busted even worse with Norton. Then the gate when you want to. I'm gonna bait the shit out of you, and I'm gonna end up on terror, which is not something. That's fine. So it comes down to your back row. Normal summon. Fact. Fact. I'll go ahead and summon you, Bell. Set this right out of Kree, because why not? In phase. Well, you die, you die. A fact. Summon terror. Fact, kill you too. Uh, thanks to Norton not counting as a normal summon and actually being a bait, I was able to summon terror and kill both of them. Which is just beautiful. And I'm not ending on a. Uh, on the monster summon from the extra deck, so no shit all fusion. Ah, <sighs> of course it's compulse. 
Oh, it's in my graveyard. And of course, I'm rolling the crease just one turn fucking too late. Ah, uh, all right, the next game. I have to be on the field to resolve my effect. I still get my effect that when I'm removed from the field, I summon Nolts Nightmare, but. I can't deal with Infinity. I thought I had baited him and I thought I could handle him, but now I can't. <laughs> God damn it. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get much use out of Royal Decree. Get it one turn fucking late. And now I'm fucking just. God, I wish I could have just went Chain Royal Decree. I wish I could have, but I. Ah, fuck. The only reason why I'm okay is because he can't deal with my uh, Ultimate Nightmare with Infinity. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Compulse. Why? Why? Why Compulse? Any other card? Why Compulse? Still hate you. Always stay at one, Compulse. You are just so fucking good. Like, I thought I was going against Shadal's. Like, I'm not even dueling against Shadal's. I'm literally dueling against Tiago right now. Tiago even took out the Infinity. He's like, you know what? This is stupid. This isn't even funny anymore. And he just dropped a fucking eight, rank eight and a fucking Infinity. It's like, oh my god. BLS too? Cause why the fuck why not? Why the fuck not? Number generator? Um, yeah. Alright, yep, that's game. That is game. <laughs> ah, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. This video's long enough. So, yay. Thank you, fucking Compulse. Wrecking me since forever. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Why did World of Create be just, ah, uh, just one turn late? If I got it one turn early, I would have said it. I would have went fucking Royal Decree, and that would have been great. Instead, I tried, I took it slow. I should have got aggressive. I took it slow, and I got fucked. I had Armageddon Night Draft Refers, and I was compulsed to face down that, I mean, down the entire time, so I could have went swing some Doom Tom New Thing, would have compulsed me. I could have still pitched and put him back in the graveyard. Then probably went into freaking yeah, I could have went swing, summon Doom Shaman. You want to pulse that? That's fine. Dark Ruffer pitch sent. Go into Emerald, detach, summon back Doom Shaman, supervise, super Oh, was that last duel? I can't remember. No, that was this duel. Was that this duel? I can't remember. I can't remember now. But... I just took it slow. I took it slow and I should have pushed. I should have pushed. Oh well. That was my duel to lose. I was afraid of overextending and pushing against dolls, and I got beat by fucking not dolls. Got beat by the light of fucking galaxies, thrown in with Chaos Sorcerer and some BLS, cause chaos. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm and Why. So, you guys get the gist of it. Like I said, the Lava Chain would have helped, made me a little bit faster. And I'm not sure if I want to go through the Decrees. Like I said, the Revival is all the same. Cause then I could just go, alright, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate, you know, call the Haunted Oasis summon, Northern, Northern summon back something, cause it just has to be special summon. Doesn't even have to be like someone from the extra or special summon, so I would get the effect and summon it from the graveyard. And then go into Castell, Exton, Emerald, so it's all good. Push more more damage. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all support, and uh I will see you guys tomorrow. Ironically with Shadali Bell, even though I really didn't get to see much at all. <laughs> Alright people, thanks for watching.